Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's already time for my October favorites. I'm honestly like almost not ready for this. I mean, I am. I have products to share with you guys, obviously, but I feel like I tried so many new products this month and maybe it's because I was pre-filming that I didn't get a chance to like try things over and over again to solidify my opinion on them and to be able to put them in this favorites video. So I only grabbed the things that I absolutely know I've been loving that I've used more than two times. So that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today. I do honestly look forward to my favorites videos every month. I just love to sit down and chat with you guys about the things that I have absolutely been obsessed with. We're not gonna waste any time. Let's just get right into it. I already knew that this was gonna be in my favorites video the moment I tried it and it's kind of cheating kind of because it is a more recent purchase. It's a more recent palette to my collection, but I can't get enough of it. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. It's this right here. It's the Huda Beauty Nude Light Palette. It's one of the new minis. She launched three in this range, a light, a medium, and a deep palette. These tones right here are absolutely everything. I am in love with them. Today I used these two right here to kind of deepen up the transition area and crease and then the outer corner and then this is what I used all over the lid. In the first video where I used this the other week, I used more of these tones and it kind of resulted in a little bit more of an ethereal lilac pastel kind of a vibe. I'm obsessed with this. This is so me and I just can't get enough of the packaging. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It adds on perfectly to the new nude palette which is one of my favorite palettes ever actually it's very similar as far as the color story goes so if you're somebody who loves that palette I feel like you would love this or if you're somebody who's wanted to try that palette but you haven't yet but you would like to try similar colors this would be an amazing one to pick up I'm traveling soon and this is absolutely for sure hands down coming with me I just love the effect that it gives it's so incredibly shimmery as well I didn't add any extra glitters or anything like that the metallics in here are absolutely stunning. So this is amazing. This will probably be a forever favorite of mine. I'm that in love with it. Okay, let's talk about a bronzer. I swore that I had mentioned this in another favorites video, but I was going back through and I don't think I have. This bronzer is incredible. I swear I have a bronzer in every favorites video, but I just love bronzers. This is the Milani Silky Matte Bronzing Powder. I have mine in the shade 01 Sunlight. This is the bronzer I have all over my skin. It is the perfect formula. It's the perfect tone for me. This is is beautiful and especially in person it doesn't lean too orange on me which is something that I have a hard time finding actually in a bronzer especially since I am a little bit heavy-handed with bronzers I love how buildable this is and I love how it never looks orange it just gives me a really beautiful sun-kissed effect but it makes sense for my skin tone this also says that it's a matte finish but I swear there's a little bit of a sheen there's a healthy glow to it it's not anything that's obvious in the pan but I swear every time I put it on I notice that it's not a flat crusty dusty matte bronzer. You know, it's like a really buttery, silky kind of a formula, which is why it's called Silky Matte, I'm sure. It blends out beautifully. It lasts all day. I absolutely love this, and I've been loving it for a couple months now. I just have forgotten to throw it in a favorites video. Okay, this next thing, I'm so surprised at how much use I'm getting out of it. This is definitely one of those products where it's more of an investment, but I can't believe that I use every single shade in here. That's fun. You can see the reflection. Um, this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Go palette. So every year around the holidays, Hourglass creates these face palettes. This is this year's palette. It is limited edition and I am absolutely obsessed with it. Like I said before, I get use out of every single shade, which is not too common for me. Like every time I have a face palette of any kind, I tend to use like two or three colors or if it's something that I really like, sometimes I'll end up using almost all the colors and they'll just be like one blush shade that I never reach for. This one, I use every single one. So you have two of their ambient lighting powders. So I use these as like finishing powders. I actually mix the two shades and dust them all over the skin. That's what I have underneath the eyes and all over the face today. And then we have, did I do this? I meant this. <laughs> these two are the face powders. I mix these two. This is the highlighter. This is the strobe powder and iridescent strobe light. And I'm wearing this on the cheeks. I do have a cream highlighter layered up but down the center of the face, I have this highlighter. It has the most beautiful pink undertone, which I've been so into. I just feel like it really helps pull together the makeup looks that I go for, which are soft pinks all the time. Like that, I just love that kind of a makeup look. So when I'm wearing colors like this, which is often, I love to pull in a pinky toned highlighter for me on my skin tone. I just think it's beautiful. So I've been absolutely obsessed with that highlighter. Then we have these two blushes right here, which I also can't get enough of. I'm wearing them as well on the cheeks today. I'm mainly wearing this 
this one. And I would say that this is the one that I get the most use out of. I like to put this all over the cheeks and then I'll do a little pop of color with the deeper shade, kind of more toward the apples. And that's what I did today. And then we have a bronzer right here. I typically like to layer this bronzer over top of something more matte. I'm actually just wearing this one today. I didn't layer it up, but this has a bit of a sheen to it. I love the formula of the hourglass bronzer. So I do get use out of that as well. But this palette, oh my gosh, it is pricey. They actually sent this to me. So I'm really grateful for that. But if you are interested in it, just know that it is pricey, but I'm really confident in this product. And I'm confident in saying that it is worth the money. If you're somebody who is really gravitated toward these tones and you feel like you'll use every shade in here, just like I do, I literally reach for this almost on a daily basis off camera, especially like when I'm doing an everyday look, this is just so convenient to have a one and done type of palette. And I actually use this all over the face. And what I mean by that is sometimes I'll even take these three bottom shades and create an eye look with it. And it makes just a really nice monochromatic soft look for daytime. So yeah, this is amazing. I can't shut up about it. If you can't tell, I'm really in love with it. So next up, this is actually an older product, but I recently picked it up. This is also from Hourglass. It's this right here. It's the Vanish Highlighter Stick in the shade Champagne Flash. So this is the cream highlighter that I have right here. This is something that I recently picked up at Sephora and I tried it on on camera when I did the video trying on like the things that I had recently purchased. I'll have that link down below if you didn't get a chance to see it. But this is a highlighter that is so buttery and beautiful. What I like to do is I'll take my sponge and I will just kind of take it on the top of the highlighter directly on the applicator and then I'll press it onto the skin. And I'm actually wearing powder all over the skin. But when you add a cream highlight on top, it just adds life back to it. It makes it kind of look like you're not wearing too much powder. It just looks beautiful all day. The longer you wear it, the more it melts into the skin and the more you just have like that glass skin effect with zero sparkle. It's beautiful. I'm obsessed with this and I'm really happy that I picked it up. I have been putting it on the back burner for a while because I just have so many highlighters. So I thought that, you know, I wouldn't need it, but after purchasing it, I am happy that I picked it up and I've been using it a ton. All right, I have three lip products that I wanted to share with you guys. The first one is from Natasha Denona. I recently got a PR package full of her entire I Need a Nude lipstick collection. I was so excited about it because honestly, I mean, I wear nude lipsticks most of the time. I do love to wear a bold every once in a while, but this collection is entirely based off of nude tones. And this is the one that I cannot get enough of. I have been reaching for a few other shades and maybe I'll mention those in the future if I end up really reaching for them, but this shade right here is called Beatrice and it's just the most beautiful soft light pink nude. It's what I have on the lips right now. I'm wearing this with MAC Subculture Lip Liner. So there's a bit of definition but then I applied this in the center and kind of pressed it into the lips. This is like a really beautiful moussey whipped formula in a bullet lipstick form. It lasts so beautifully on the lips. These are probably some of my favorite bullet lipstick formulas I've ever tried. And this shade is to die for. I normally don't reach for shades that are this light light because I hate the light rim that kind of forms. You see how that's kind of happening. Normally I cannot stand that. And throughout the day, I usually hate how these kinds of colors wear off of my lips, but I've worn this multiple times. And even though there is a distinct color difference between the inside of my lip and the lip color, it doesn't fade off weird and it doesn't leave that line in my lips, which I really appreciate. It's an amazing formula. If you're looking for a good classic lip formula and you need a good nude color, this whole range is beautiful. I would highly recommend it. This next lip color, I can't get enough of. It has been a go-to for me for fall. I'm obsessed with this line of lipsticks at the drugstore. This is from Almay. They have this line called Lip Vibes and I own probably four or five of them now. I absolutely love this shade right here. This is called Never Regret. Let me swatch it for you. Here's what it looks like. It's a beige toned lip color with a little bit of pink in there. And I just feel like it works so well for any sort of fall lip color. If you're doing something bold on the eyes and you need something that's gonna be a nude, but it's not gonna be too pinky and spring toned, you know? You need something that's gonna fit more of a fall kind of a look. This is amazing. The formula is fabulous. They last beautifully on the lips. This is another lipstick that I just can't get enough of. Okay, this next lip product is one that I also recently purchased. And this was another thing that took me forever to buy, but I kept seeing people use it. 
So I picked it up and it's been living in my purse. Like I literally had to go find it in my purse and bring it down here to show you guys. This is a lip balm and it's from Dior, so it's not cheap, but it's so fuss free and foolproof. It's so worth the money. I have been getting so much use out of it and it just makes the lips look so healthy. It kind of stains the lips. This is the Dior Addict Lip Glow in the shade 001 Pink. Here's what it looks like in the tube. It's kind of like a clear pink formula. When you apply it on the lips, it kind of tints the lips to just the perfect pink tone and it looks so beautiful. It's also super moisturizing. I wore this all day just the other day and I was actually wearing this palette all over the face and I used this palette for the eyes. I put this all over the lips and I just loved how effortless it looked but it also had a nice monochromatic vibe to it. It wore beautifully throughout the day and I was just really in love with this duo here. So I knew I wanted to mention this because I have been getting so much use out of it. It is one of those things that lives in your purse in my opinion. And I also love it because you don't need a mirror to apply it. I just put it on like a lip balm. It tints your lips perfectly. It doesn't look messy. It doesn't feel messy. It's not sticky at all because it's a lip balm, but you look like you have some sort of a lip color on, which I think is great. So this is amazing. I love it. So this month I tried the new ColourPop Pretty Fresh line and I'm still trying out the tinted moisturizer. In the video where I tested it out initially, I really enjoyed it and I am still wearing it. I just have only worn it like three times and to me it's not enough to be like, yes, this is favorites worthy, but I do really enjoy it. So don't get me wrong. I just might have to save it for the next favorites video. However, there are two things that I tried in the collection that I absolutely know are favorites. One of which is actually the new ColourPop sponge. I love this. I love the texture of it. I love the shape of it as well. I've been getting so much use out of the sponge. I was not expecting to love it as much as I do, but I am kind of picky when it comes to sponges actually. I need a certain texture and a certain bounce to the sponge. And this is perfect to me. I really love it. The second item from the collection that I literally use all the time is this right here. This is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist from ColourPop. You can already see how much I've used, which really says something considering how many setting sprays I have and how recent I've purchased this. The thing I love about this is first of all, the smell. Second of all, it's very hydrating and it feels beautiful on the skin. I'm wearing it today. But third of all, the mist on this, watch, ready? Did you see that? Did you hear that? Like, it, <coughs> I can't talk and spray. <coughs> so let me demo and then talk, ready? Are you actually kidding? Wait, I just talked again. <laughs> I hope you can hear how beautifully this sprays out. It's one of the most amazing misters on a setting spray that I have ever, ever tried. We gotta pull out the fan to dry my face off again. I accidentally wiped off some of my lip color. So I'm just patting that back on. All right, now we're back in business. Honestly, you guys, this is so incredible. I absolutely love it. The fact that it's from ColourPop makes it that much better because it's more affordable. But this has honestly quickly become one of my favorite setting sprays. It's not gonna like make your makeup last forever, but it's perfect for this time of year as things get a little bit chillier. During the fall and winter, I just feel like I'm gonna get so much use out of this. It makes your face feel so fresh and plump and amazing. I love this so much. Okay, so the last two items that I wanna share with you guys are old news, I guess, even to me. But typically in favorites videos, I like to re-mention some products that maybe have come back into my routine and that I've fallen back in love with because with what I do and with how many videos I film and with how many products I try, sometimes it's easy to forget about some amazing products. So anytime there's something that I've revisited and it's kind of stuck back into my routine over and over during the month, I like to bring it to you guys and share it with you again because just because they're old news to me doesn't mean they're old news to you and also it doesn't mean that they're not still amazing products. So the first thing is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I personally use the shade number two light. This is absolutely amazing. You can wear this underneath foundation if you want to. You can mix this in the foundation. You can use this as a highlighter on its own and it just gives you such a beautiful glowy and dewy finish without looking oily and I just love how versatile it is. You can combine it with any product that you're using and it kind of adds to your collection in my opinion. It has a little bit of coverage to it as well so if you're somebody who has really good skin naturally or maybe you're having a good skin day this is great to just kind of put all over the face and then you can spot conceal the under eyes or blemishes right on top and your complexion is done and you look so fresh and you don't even need a highlighter basically. You just look so glowy and lit from Within. So this is an amazing product that I've been reaching for all over again. This has been in a favorites video a couple of times, maybe now, maybe just once, but I wanted to re-mention it. And the last thing I wanted to re-mention is actually a mascara. I'm wearing it today. 
I have been using this nonstop. This is another one of those like daily go-tos. I swear to you, this palette, this lip balm, and this mascara has been like all I've been using as far as what I use to complete my look. I've been switching around foundations, trying to test some things out. But the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara has been in my routine this whole time, ever since I tried it. But like this month especially, I fell hard for this all over again. It's what I'm wearing in my lashes. I absolutely love how it looks on the top and bottom lashes. The unique thing about this, if you haven't heard about this mascara before, is it's a tubing mascara. So it is a very different formula and you do have to kind of get used to how to apply it. But once you get the hang of it, it's absolutely incredible. It just lengthens your lashes like no other. And since it is a tubing mascara, when you remove it, it like falls off in these little clumps. It's so easy to remove and it's so hard to explain unless you try it. And the other thing I love about this is it's one of my favorite mascaras for just a really soft eye for every day because I can really build it up and I can make my lashes look nice and defined, but I never ever have to worry about it smudging or flaking. This is amazing. If you have not tried it yet, you definitely should. And it's just such a good, reliable product to have in your collection for those everyday days or for days where it's raining outside or for days where you're going to see a sad movie and you you don't want your mascara to absolutely smear. I don't know. All right, you guys, so that completes my October favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found something new and intriguing. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these products and what your thoughts are. And as always, I have to hear from you, so let me know in the comments what you've been loving this month. I always love to hear your suggestions, and I love to try the things that you guys are loving, so don't forget to leave a comment down below. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button, and if you're already a subscriber but you want to be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. Alrighty, my friends. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye!